croque monsieur. It's basically a ham and cheese sandwich cooked like a French toast. Interesting, huh? So we'll be needing cooked ham, which we got from our sponsor, King's Quality Products. And um, cheese, we use quick melt. And mayonnaise, eggs, milk, bread. We're, we're using wheat bread. And that's it. We'll need two slices of bread. Would you like to put on the mayonnaise pizza? Yes, I would. Since you're good at spreading. <laughs> so I'll get a big chunk of mayonnaise and slap it right in the middle. Just keep spreading. That's it. Just like even it's fine. Yeah. Is this okay? Yep. Right. Like get it on both slices. Like how you put your foundation on your face. Next, we're gonna put the cheese. All right. So how do I put the cheese on? Just put it evenly on all sides. All right. So what kind of cheese are we using here? We're using quick melt and this is grated. So all right. So the grated ones are like easier to get around. Yeah, okay. yeah. Alright. So the smaller they are, the easier they melt, right? You want a really cheesy sandwich. Alright, so we'll take this spoon away. And now the ham. I just need one layer. So we cut the ham into quarters. So it's this size. So it would fit the sandwich. And then we cover it over. Yeah, there. And then for the egg and the milk, we mixed um, one egg with about two tablespoons of milk. And after mixing it, you dip the sandwich all over it. We just dunk the whole sandwich in there. I can't believe you're using your hands. Yeah. So how much oil do you put? About a tablespoon. Since we're just pan frying it. And then they spread the oil over the pan. We're doing a lot of spreading. <laughs> then we're gonna add our sandwich. Over low heat, so it gives time for the cheese to melt. Make it really cheesy and gooey. You know how you like your cheese. I love cheese! I really love the sound that it's making. I love it! I love it! So we wait for the cheese to melt on each side around five minutes. Pretty much it looks like a French toast, right? Looks. Like right now, and I love the smell, especially the smell, it smells mm. really good. Yeah, you can smell the egg. I know. It would smell even better if we used butter. Alright, so you so, can use butter instead of oil. So is this like the hardest part? Like when you're trying to get all four sides? Not really. It's pretty easy. Yeah. It's because you're really good, that's why I know. <laughs> you can do it too. <laughs> yep, I There can. you go! that pretty sandwich. That looks really good. The cheese looks really perfect and melted. Thanks to King's Cooked Ham. Thank you, King's so. Cooked Ham. Thank you. We love your cooked ham, even before the show. Yeah. <laughs> We're just trying to add a little bit of variety to our sandwiches, because some people like them big, and some people like them really skinny, so they don't fill apart. I like my sandwiches really small, because I eat sandwiches every day, but how do you like your sandwiches? <laughs> I like them big. Here's our finished product, here's Just our croque monsieur. And we're gonna take a bite into it. I'm so excited. It smells really good. Mmm, look at that. Tastes pretty good. Mm. So, for my fashion segment, I'll be teaching you how to make accessory hangers using old picture frames. <laughs> so, love, are you excited for me to teach you how to make your very own accessory hanger out of a frame? So, 
we're gonna start this this project actually involves a lot of painting and a lot of like handyman stuff so we're technically turning it guys tonight where's our handyman because <laughs> we have to screw this thing on this is what you call a brass cup hook so i guess it's called a cup hook because it's I don't know, shaped like a cup or something. A cup. Let's see, yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's Wait, see how good you are at screwing stuff. <laughs> so you're gonna wanna put it in the middle. Oh my gosh, am I doing this you right? You have to push it in really hard. Alright, so I can help you with that. Ah! The trick to screwing things, the screwing okay, hook so on a piece master. of plywood is just to initially get it, like push it in, and then once it's like stuck in and you get like a bit, little bit of foundation, then you can start to, to turn it. So eventually it'll go deeper and yeah. yeah. So it feels really good once it's in. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So Okay. Oh, success. So once you're done screwing everything on the inner part, um, you can start with adding this on. Yeah. So so you wanna measure it out. So I got scissors here. And tie it on this side. I'm excited. So we'll get this in. I like this, I like this thread, it's braided. So we're making sure that it's tight and in place. And every and once everything is in place, you just snip off all the extra threads that you see. So this I think this is a good length. That's already in pretty tight. Too so you like how it looks looks like so far? I love it. Alright. So the next part is we're going to add the details onto, onto the frame. So what we're going to be using is some glitter. This is fabric pen. So you can use this on your shirts. I use this for a couple of my t-shirts in the past, but you can still use them for frames and other crafts and arts and crafts stuff. And it doesn't matter what color you use because we're going to be painting over this anyways. So there. We're going for the whole emboss type of decorating. So this means that it pops out. So this is gonna be like some 3D art. While Justine's busy decorating her frame, I'm gonna show you something that I, I made in advance. So I made this frame and I made it last night so I had enough time for it to dry and actually show you what it looks like when it's dry. And I had, I went over this twice. So it's thicker and it has more dimension to it. So, see, as you can see, I have like the little roses here and this design here. And I have vapor food at the bottom because this is going to be just eat. Once this is dry, you want to wait around like two to three hours until it's dry. You can actually touch it and feel it. And once it is, then it's time to paint over it. What we're going to do next is we're going to start painting since we already got the color that you like. You, are you sure about this color? Yeah. All right, that's cool. So this is our final project. It took about like an hour to dry, and this is what it looks like now. We've got all our accessories on it. These are all of Justine's accessories. We've got our necklaces, our bracelets, our clips. We hope you like this episode, and we hope you like this project that we made. Let us know what you think about it. And if you have any suggestions, or you would want to see us do something that you've always wanted to try, um, just comment on our video or on our blog post. We'd like to give a special shout out to FMJ for helping us put up this video. And um, if you got, you guys should check them out if you have nothing else to do. They make really cool videos. You can check out our first video over here. And you can check out FMJ's channel right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe guys. For any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave one in the comment box below. Thanks again for watching the Cooking Fashionistas. Till next time, bye!